Seiko was known for many years as the best affordable brand, offering great watches with automatic movements for extremely good prices, like the Seiko 5, the SKX, the Turtles, the Sarb or the Flightmaster, not to mention the vintage iconic ones, succeeding to build large communities of enthusiasts and fans around the world. And that's a fact. But things have changed and feels like once with the addition of the Prospects logo on the dial, Seiko have changed the way they create watches. They are still affordable, but against Swiss companies, not against citizen or Orient price points. Because a new Seiko now exceeds $400 at its release. Currently, the brand provides modernized reissues of their iconic models, but colored in lots and lots of variations, launching as well expensive limited editions. And I got into a point where I said, no more, no mas, no more McDonald's, I'm out of this league. But everything starts with a but. Looking at this King Turtle, I simply can retract my previous statement and simply enjoy this watch without complaints. Now, the King Turtle is a superior race of the iconic turtle, which was always sitting in the shadow of the popular Seiko SKX. Nobody wanted a Seiko Turtle because of the cushion case and because of the use of the same materials as the SKX. However, in my view, things have changed. The new line of King Turtle came up with Sapphire, with a lollipop to the day date, also a ceramic insert. When they appeared, the King Turtles made a bit of noise here and there, a lot of excitement, but overall the hype disappeared. And after a couple of years, I've met the King Turtle once again, but this time on the Manta Ray Special Edition version. And looking at it objectively, I have no reasons to complain about it. Now, it's true, this time I knew what I was buying, a modernized version of the iconic Seiko Turtle, with a cushion case, but made with better materials, and on top of that, with a dramatic dial. In fact, I can say that this watch has the most dramatic dial that I've ever experienced. And if we look closely, we can spot how the light chooses to hide or to highlight the sculpted waves, making everything to feel like a storm, feels like a battle between manta rays. But if you put enough light on the dial, everything turns to be positive all of a sudden. The fume or the dark gradient to the bright blue provides a good feeling overall in ideal light conditions. So when I took it with me in Greece for various photo sessions, I simply enjoyed it because despite the beautiful dial, the platform is very comfortable and lightweight, no matter if we're talking about the bracelet or the rubber strap. And as sizing, the case measures 45 by 47.7 millimeters, has 13.2 millimeters in height and 22 millimeters between the lugs. The bracelet is also comfortable because it's wide and covers better the surface of the wrist. Inside we have the Caliber 4R36, a well-known automatic caliber with decent specs and a decent power reserve. But this is also known as the poor man's automatic caliber which is used by micro brands. And my hunch is that the Seiko 4R36 is the in-house caliber with a bit of attention to the details and accuracy. The NH35 I think is currently replicated because if you look at AliExpress brands, they do not specify the brand who made them, so they must be replicas of the Seiko NH35. The price of the King Turtle Manta Ray is very good. You can find it between $400 and $470 on various listings on eBay, and potentially cheaper as pre-owned. I bought it as pre-owned for around €300 Euros on an exchange. Obviously, following some of my 8 golden rules which I highlighted in one of my previous videos, video, so the link is on the top right corner. And as bezel action, I enjoyed it as well. Compared to my Marine Master 300, which got stuck because of the salt, the King Turtle bezel is better engineered and still if you forgot to clean the bezel with fresh water after a swim in the sea, no worries, the bezel won't get stuck. Now as design, I always appreciated the shape profile of the turtle because it allows the wrist to flex beneath the case. And somehow I can recall the fact that the turtle brushing is pretty qualitative for the price asked. The star of the show is obviously the dial. The King Turtle brings an interpretation of the dial of the 6309-7040, but adding applied markers and better refined metallic elements that helps the indexes to pop and differentiate the markers from the dial. The dial is beautifully executed, it is mostly embossed, where the micro interconnected baguettes forms the surface of the sea. And it is made somehow in a way to highlight the fact that on the bottom of the sea we can spot the silhouettes of four manta rays. I believe this version is made as an awareness product to highlight the importance of protecting the manta rays. But overall a beautiful executed dial which presents two states, which is the low light version that highlights the dramatic appearance of the dial. And then in the light, 
where we can spot the positive dial that starts from the beautiful rich blue on the center, transforming into a dark blue towards the black ceramic bezel. So the Fune gradient is closed by the black inner tone of the bezel insert. The surface of this king turtle is lacquered and it helps in good light conditions because it amplifies the blue tone. But on a downside, the accents that are attacked by the light are becoming too flashy demanding too much attention. And again, a thing that I like on the new generation of Seikos is the lumed markers which are in the shape of a chewing gum pillow, being as usual filled with their known proprietary Lumibrite. And in terms of wearability and comfort, the King Turtle despite the cushion appearance and the specs, you might think that it is big. But in reality not at all, it is designed in a way to sit well on the wrist having a reduced lug to lug. Here I'm also referring to the trimmed area that hosts the strap. It's not weighty and as well the dial is pretty small giving the feeling of wearing a 41-42mm diver watch. Now, during my vacation and underwater, I've been using mostly the turtle on this blue 22mm rubber strap provided by 7 friends and watches, because of the comfort first, but also because it matches the tone of the dial pretty good. And if interested, 7 friends and watches, the link of the rubber strap is in the description. Now, the bracelet of the king turtle is pretty lightweight, as I said. The links are pretty wide, so they lay down on the wrist pretty good. The clasp has the usual entry level extension, nothing fancy with the stamped joints, having also 4 micro adjusting points, and overall satisfied by the quality of it. So these are my field and underwater thoughts about this King Turtle. A friendly watch that honors let's say the brand, showing that there are still great buys from Seiko. It's just a matter of choosing the right model and the right discount price. And as for me, I'm soon heading to a second summer vacation where I prepared a new batch of wristwatches to shoot on the beach like a watch kick. So we will still have some summer reviews before the season ends. And we will close this video with the usual curiosity, what do you think about this specific King Turtle Manta Ray Special Edition? Do you think there is a better Seiko option for this $400 price point? Please let me know in the comments section and as usual if you're new here, please press the red button and subscribe for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time, be brave but stay safe.